So I was in this group show at the Throckmorton Theater in Mill Valley and um, in December, November and December, or December. And uh, I didn't get a chance to, I didn't get a chance to film it. So I decided to film it in my studio um, and post it so people could see it. Uh, so here we go. It was a it was a show about the theater. It was a show um, basically celebrating the, the Throckmorton Theater. And I decided, since I spent so much time there enjoying the crowds, that I would paint, try and paint laughter and and uh, the celebration there. I just did three pieces, but I wanted to, and I wanted to, um, I wanted to bring you close, middle, and then right up, farther. They actually go from left to right, but anyway, I used this whole, whole um, project as a as a sort of an experiment, just on surface. Um, it's pretty hard to paint joy. So I wanted the surface to express joy. This one kind of looks like Joni from Happy Days. <laughs> and these were all, you can see there's some really nice surface in here. These are all um, done from sketches, live sketches and imagination and also my old file of from the illustration days of crowds, you know, and I wanted to get kind of like specific and then just loosen it way up. You know, those just little flickers of light in the background as the light moves across the crowd and people are so animated. I love this one, this boy here, or whatever it is. And try to play with different axes, you know, the mouth going different directions, the hands sort of moving your eye around. This was quite a struggle here. I just uh, rubbed it out and then a few times, <laughs> as I do with most of my painting, rub it out, repaint it, try and salvage what I like about it. You know, not always paint everyone is beautiful because not everyone... Uh, Fits that stereotype. They're beautiful in their own way. Anyway, I really like the the surface in that one. Uh, that this one I got a little bit closer. Right. And uh, this girl is just totally red in the face. I wanted her to be. I, I wanted the abstract qualities around her to sort of emphasize sound. And I, I, I was thinking of a very trippy artist, um, William Wiley, who did a whole series on sound. Not not this like figurative like this, but I was so impressed that he even attempted to do sound. William Wiley, great artist. So I just started just like pushing that out and tying it into the background. Just bursting it around and then scooting you back up through the light down her hair or whatever that shape is. This is a mixture of oil pastels over oil paint on masonite. This I just used my finger to create that stripes over the, the stained surface of the masonite. Little bits of, you know, light moving across Theater light, bits of faces, reflections off glasses. And then, I like this little color harmony back here. Pieces of stuff. You know, I mean, I think about all this stuff. William Wiley, um, Soroya, El Hel, El Hel, that incredible Spanish dancer one. <laughs> you know, all those studies, the guitar player leaning back in his chair. And then right down the throat. And this is classic Mill Valley, you know. I mean, this, you know, white-haired guy. 
very clean and quaffed. Kind of a Thurston Howell. Here's looking up his nose. There's looking down his throat. But I really liked moving you around here. Of course, your eyes drawn right to that contrasty spot of the mouth and the teeth. But I wanted to move you around with the white shapes of his hair around his head. And uh, I really like the violets too. I, I pushed on the side there. So like I said, this was a big experimentation of, um, you know, just playing with surface. I wanted to see what I could get away with because I knew people were going to be viewing these from, from a distance. And so I want them to read it from a distance, but then I also want them to, but then I also want them to be, you know, uh, surprised and interested when they get up close. <laughs> and we pull back. Again, thank you so much. I really enjoy posting stuff on YouTube. Bye-bye.